Hi guys, I'm about to give a message that I received today, um, which makes me kind of happy. Maybe I should take back a comment I made on my earlier message about it's giving bad news. Um, this is actually a rare insight into his life. I'm pretty excited about this message. I don't think we get this kind of message very often. But I think what might have brought this about is that I was preparing to do a a sort of video, are you ready for rapture? Um, sort of a checklist. And I guess it was going to be too much and too complicated and he stopped it right there and really simplified matters. Um, I hope you enjoy as I did, okay? Here goes. Children, once upon a time I asked my disciples who did they think I was? Some believed I was the son of David. And I asked them, How can this be if he calls me Lord? Certainly I was a descendant of David. In a sense, he was a many times removed grandfather. My earthly father was Joseph. The true work came from God, and his true desire is that you believe in the one that sent that he sent, and that was me. So this was my heavenly father, my true father. This establishes my lineage. I knew that I came from God and that all things had been placed into my hands and that I was to return to Him. There were many prophecies about the coming of the Messiah that I had to fulfill, and I fulfilled each one. For it was written that Christ would suffer, would resurrect on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins would be preached in my name to all nations, beginning in Jerusalem. I have fulfilled the first ones. Now my message is being preached throughout the nations. Amidst all the layers of scriptures, my message of love is eternal for you all. You cannot be misled into false doctrines of grace. You must know what is required to earn eternal life and then teach it widely. <coughs> a rich young man that I liked came up to me once and asked me, What shall I do to in inherit eternal life? My message to this young man was the underlying message of my gospel of salvation. I said to this young man, You know my commandments. This, children, should have been the first clue for you. You are to follow my commandments. This is teached throughout my word from the opening cover to the closing cover, and it still stands today. I have never taken this away. This young man responded to me that he had done this his entire life, to which I then responded, Then sell everything you have, give it to the poor, pick up your cross, and follow me. Children, this message has not been understood. I knew what I was asking was impossible to a man who had no notion of God. And it is true that you are not to rely on your wealth, as it will lead you away from me. But it is the shadow of all sins, for the true revelation of the warning was not understood. This young man walked away sad, and I let him go. But he did not a walk away empty-handed. I led him with a message of hope. You just didn't recognize it. When my disciples asked, Who then could be saved? This is where my real message came, children. All I wished to demonstrate was that man lives under difficult circumstances, all of them different, and he alone cannot save himself regardless of your circumstances. So to my disciples I responded, It is impossible for man to save himself, but not to God, for to God all is possible. And children, this is the second and last thing that you need to enter into my eternal life. Only God can save you. It is a message of hope and faith. And this is the message I gave to this young man. First, follow my commandments. Then second, have faith in God. For as a mere man, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. 
teach these things, children. You must follow my commandments and live by faith. It is in your obedience to God to follow His commandments and your hope, love, and faith in Him that will operate the miracles of salvation. I watch all of you young ones today, all shadows of this young man. You worry about your sin as you worried about his sin. You want to achieve perfection as I made it clear throughout all my teachings that you cannot. You are to live by my commandments and then live by faith. In truth, the one who listens to my word and believes in the one that sent me has eternal life and will not come to judgment for he has passed from a state of death to life. Days are soon upon you where all you see before you not a single stone will remain unturned. Do not be seduced. I warn that many would come in my name that there shall be earthquakes and pestilences that kingdom shall rise against kingdom and that there would be signs in the heavens. You have witnessed all these things come to pass in various degrees. I also warn that you would be captured, persecuted, put in prison, brought before judges in my name. All these things must come to pass, for you are to serve as witnesses unto me. But not a hair shall be lost upon your heads, you shall save souls by your perseverance. You wish to know about resurrection. I shall not reveal more than what has already been taught to you in my word. You are currently mortal, corruptible, infirmed. The first man came from the earth and is terrestrial. Once the resurrection comes, you shall be elevated. You shall no longer bear the sins of the skins you now wear. As you now wear the image of terrestrial beings, you will then put on the image of you, sorry guys, you will then put on the image of the celestial being, which is the second man, for the second man is a celestial being. Preach to all my message of hope and salvation. Praise and worship God continually. I shall open your minds, your spirits, so that you understand my word. Greet yourselves with kisses. All the saints salute you. May my grace, the grace of your Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communication with the Holy Spirit be with you all. Lord God, Yeshua. That's it, guys. Wasn't it nice? Wasn't it simple? God bless. God bless. Thank you, Lord. I think we tend to overcomplicate matters, and certainly this is where I was going to be led. Sometimes more knowledge, or too much knowledge is, is not better. So, enjoy. Preach his message, and be blessed. Bye-bye.